reflex is a rapid, involuntary and coordinated response to a sensory stimulus. Reflexes can involve muscular contraction or a glandular response. Reflexes can be Pavlovian, but in this video we're going to focus on somatic reflexes. A somatic reflex is also referred to as a spinal reflex and it has several key features. It has few synapses for rapid transmission, it's involuntary and it requires an external stimulation, i.e. a sensory input. The most common example of a spinal reflex is the patellar reflex. The patellar reflex is a myotatic reflex, important in maintaining body posture as part of the proprioceptive system, and it goes as follows. A sensory stimulus is detected by tapping on the knee. The primary afferent neuron sends a signal down the dorsal root. The signal then moves through a monosynaptic interneuron towards the ventral root. The ventral root motor neuron then causes a stretch of the thigh extensor muscles, moving the leg. We now know an example of a spinal reflex causing movement, but how do proprioceptors monitor the movement of these body parts? Proprioceptors are found in striated muscles and are most abundant in places such as the hand. Muscle spindles are innervated by IA sensory fibres, which provide feedback to alpha motor neurons, which innervate the muscle. The muscle spindles are also innervated by axons of gamma motor neurons. These neurons stimulate the intrafusal fibres, which adjust the tension within the muscle as the extrafusal muscles contract to adjust the sensitivity of the response. Another type of proprioceptor with a similar function are Golgi tendon organs. These detect muscle tension during contraction and activate IB sensory afferent neurons. These in turn activate inhibitory interneurons which prevent the action of the alpha motor neurons of the same muscle. This is an example of a negative feedback circuit which prevents muscle and tendon damage when large forces are generated. We're now moving on to the flexor reflex. The flexor reflex, also known as the withdrawal reflex, is designed to protect the body from harmful stimuli such as touching a hot surface. Its action goes as follows. A damaging stimulus is detected by nociceptors, also known as pain receptors, and causes a rapid contraction of flexor muscles. This response is fast, but is also polysynaptic as multiple excitatory interneurons sustain the response. This is known as a parallel after discharge circuit. Assume the time taken to cross each synapse is the same. The stimulus initiated at A will take different times to reach output neuron B depending on the number of synapses involved. The result is that the initial signal is maintained over a long period of time. As the flexor reflex involves the rapid withdrawal of the limb, this can lead to imbalance. A contralateral element is included to provide postural support and this is known as the crossed extensor reflex. When this occurs, contralateral motor neurons are also excited, which leads to contraction of contralateral extensor muscles, which extend the leg for balance. In this video we've given a brief overview of somatic reflexes, from the patellar and flexor reflex to the action of proprioceptors. We hope you now have a fuller understanding of spinal reflexes.